So what experiment are we doing today? Uh, so we're going to be turning dirty, salty water into clean drinking water. And what equipment do you need? You'll need to have two sifts. One has got a scour in it that will have some sand. So is that to make a sand filter? That's to make, exactly, to make a sand filter. Is there any particular reason that you're using this kind of sponge? No, so you could use a scour pad, you could use a piece of material. It's just something that the sand can, can stay on. So we need to pour this sand carefully onto our sponge or the scourer, and that will become your filter. I can see it can be quite difficult to pour without making a mess, so is there anything you can do about that? You could use something slightly smaller, so you could use a tea strainer to make it easier for them so they could just put that over the cup and it would be a lot easier, yeah. you might not have as much water. We've got four beakers, four clear beakers, um, some filter paper and loads of tissues just in case. So you'll only need this empty full tray if you're going to carry out the evaporation demonstration and you don't necessarily have to do that, it's just an extra part of the lesson. So how would you do the evaporation demonstration? So we would um, take their samples, their final sample, and put it into this full tray and we'd place the tea light candle underneath a metal tray and place this on top of it so that we're heating this. And then in the freezer there is a metal tray and I'd keep ice on top of that and bring that back into the classroom and hold it at about a 45 degree angle. So as the water starts to evaporate, that will then hit the cold surface and we should hopefully start to get some water droplets and that can then be put into a glass. And if they ever get stranded on desert island, um, then how to get away from civilization. Clean drinking water. Yeah. And how did you make the dirty water? Where did you get that from? So I collected it actually from resources around the school. So I went out to the garden and got some soil. I've got some sand, um, there's salt in there as well. And I've cut up some plastic and some metal as well so that they can see bigger parts when they're filtering through and then see the smaller parts through the filter paper. So I can see that this has been stood around for quite a long time, so the sediment's all collected at the bottom. So you need to uh, give them something to stir yes, it? Yes, so they'll all have lollipop sticks on their tables and stir it with a lollipop stick. Right. And what's the teaching points that will come out of the experiment? So they're going to be finding out how to separate the mixture using the three different filters, and then once they've done that, it should have four different samples that they'll be able to compare. Are there any particular health and safety points you need to bear in mind? So we need to make sure when the children are carrying out the investigation that they don't drink the water. Yeah. <laughs> so we have to make, that, unlikely, isn't make it? that really clear. Even if they think it's clean, just really stress that they mustn't do that. Um, and just be really careful if they spill anything over. I need to make sure that they're wiped up because we don't want any children slipping over. Um, and when the children have finished carrying out the investigation, they'll have to make sure they all wash their hands. <laughs>